health officials seem to think it is only a matter of time until the coronavirus starts to spread through communities here in the United States. The Centers for Disease Control says it is preparing medical personnel on how to contain the spread of its flu-like illness. So far, 34 coronavirus cases have been confirmed in the U.S., but there have been more than 76,000 worldwide, the vast majority in China. And overnight, there was a huge surge of cases in South Korea. More than 2,200 people around the world have died. Deborah Pata is in Tokyo, where the disease is now threatening the 2020 Olympics, which are still months away. Good morning. Japan has been at pains to stress that the Summer Olympics will not be disrupted by the coronavirus outbreak, but they've come under fire for mismanaging the quarantine on the Diamond Princess. Japan has already invested more than $28 billion in infrastructure for the Olympics, and there's around $6 billion in sponsorship at stake. Olympic officials insist the Games will not be cancelled or postponed, but experts point out that the government doesn't have a plan B if the virus continues to spread in this country, other than to cross their fingers and hope it abates in time for the Olympics in July. Their handling of the quarantine process on the now notorious Diamond Princess has done little to restore public confidence in their crisis management ability. And the ship has become the site of the largest cluster of infections outside China. Globally, new pockets of infections have also sprung up with the most troubling in South Korea, the majority of them linked to a church in Daegu. A woman in her 60s attended a church service before testing positive for the virus. At least 1,000 worshippers have been confined to their homes, schools have been closed and residents have been told to avoid mass gatherings. The U.S. military base in Daegu has restricted the movement of all personnel there. There are no cases confirmed amongst the Americans, but the measures have been implemented out of an abundance of caution. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Deborah Pada, Tokyo, Japan.